The wait is over in Waco, Texas. It is the Big 12 on ESPN. Week one of the college football season set to kick off and sailing down the Brazos River. Tarleton making the 90 minute trip down to Waco to take on Baylor and the students and the Baylor Lions saying, hey, week one, we got here as fast as we could. We will see this tempo today. Baylor, of course, that new air raid offense we alluded to in the open. Richard Reese speaking of open into the open field. Taken down by Rawls short of the 45. All Richard Reese so far. Play fake to the air goes Finn. Bringing it down is Cameron inside the 40 yard line. Daquan Finn era underway one for one. Nice job by Daquan there looking the defense off knowing that he was going to his right with the football making sure that the receiver had a chance to catch and make a play. 14 yard game for the Bears. They continue to roll. Finn keeps it. Room to run. Daquan Finn. Yes. This is my home now. Six nothing Bears. Thirty nine yard run. That's what Daquan Finn can do in your offense. The RPO is there for a reason. We've seen him soften up the, the defense right there, just giving it to the running back. That time he decides to go ahead and keep it right here. Gets to the outside, fakes the toss, freezes the defender, and then uses his feet to find the end zone. I thought one of the most picturesque parts of that replay, as we see the extra point sail through the uprights, was that play fake, really keeping the defense oh, yeah. honest. Keeping it in his belly, not giving any kind of indication to the defense what he's actually going to do with it. Let's take a look at right here. He's patient, watching the defense, seeing what they give him. He saw the defender crash down the line of scrimmage, knew that he had, had the edge, and once he got to the open field, it was all over. Just nine yards passing last week. Another carry for Britton. Reverses field, Garmin almost grabs him. Gang tackling is Baylor, but not before Britton finds a first down. Second and long scenario. Pete. Drops back, doesn't have much time. Garmin Randolph makes quick work of him. The skyscraper at 6'8 comes barreling through for his first sack of the season. Let's take a look here. There's more guys coming than there are blockers. They caught Jaden Pete trying to look downfield to find an open receiver. But of course, a guy that can get around a block that efficiently, you expect him to bring the quarterback down, which is exactly what he did, Pete. In the FCS after that wait. Mm. High snap, Pete brings it down. Matt Jones wraps him up. 40,000 strong here at McLean Stadium in his ear. Stepping up in the pocket, not much he can do before he is brought down. Jackie Marshall. Give credit to those edge rushers. Jackie Marshall, Trevin Mai. These guys are upfield with nowhere to go for number Jayden six. Pete. He has the to eat team is now Normally a nifty runner with everybody in his face. And of course, Trayvon finishing it off. Finn will keep it. And now he swings it to the outside. Ashton Hawkins, his first catch as a Baylor Bear. Short yardage will bring up third down. That is the epitome of an RPO. Look, has the ball in the belly of the back, decides to keep it, and then throws it out to the flat. So guess what? His receiver can make a play. He used all three elements of what he had right there. And that looked like fun. Just flipped it uh, out there. It felt like a basketball game. Almost by design, huh? Hawkins in motion. Quinn with time. Uncorks it. Ashton Hawkins shakes and scores. Second catch of his career at Baylor. First touchdown. 32 yards. Daquan Finn showcasing his athleticism, rolling that pocket, throwing across his body, finding the open receiver after he uncovers closer to the end zone. And we talk about a smaller receiver in Ashton Hawkins. And you look at him, he's looking downfield. The defender hadn't had a chance to turn around and look for the ball. Ashton Hawkins knew it was underthrown, makes the adjustment, and then fights through two defenders to get into the end zone, Pete. 
That gets you excited. Get, that gets the fans here in Waco excited. And the opportunity now for a 14-0 lead. It is true. Five plays, 46 yards, two minutes, nine seconds. 5'10", 165 pounds. They say he got the hands of Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> He's got huge hands, they say. And strong hands. Uh, absolutely. 4.23 left, second and seven. Pete oh, he threw throwing it a laser, yeah. but it goes right to Baylor. The transfer, Keaton Thomas, touchdown. Happy to be here. I got here as fast as I could, he says. Jaden completely lost sight of where the defender was. And we'll see it here in just a few minutes. He's coming up a little limp there, too, trying to make the tackle. As you can see here, tremendous eyes. Keaton Thomas reading the quarterback, knowing that he was going to the flat with the football. He's trying to get it out of his hands quick on the slant. He had Benjamin Omumbu coming across and unfortunately didn't see the guy in green first. You talk about Waco being the home of the fixer upper. Chip and Joanna Gaines, he fixed up that Cal offense last year and you see early on fixing up the Baylor offense. 125 yards, five first down. Ben can't spin out of that one. No, he cannot. First sack of the game came in lane coming for Texans. Right off that edge, beat the tackle inside. The only thing that Big 79 Alvin Abasile could have done was just to grab him. He got beat that quick. You want to take care of business. Absolutely. You want to work on the depth of your roster. If you're up that comfortably, it's okay to let the underclassmen get in and make big plays. Speaking of depth, Daquan Finn going deep. Katron Jackson getting in on the act. Let's take a look at what happened here. Plenty of time in the pocket. Had his receiver dialed in the entire time. On fourth down now from Alba, Texas. It's Prendergrass again, banging down the door in his second year at Baylor. 27 to nothing Bears. That drive was all Dawson Pendergrass. From the very beginning in the RPO, we saw him get the ball a healthy amount, making those big plays. But of course, it was Keetron Jackson that got them down into the red zone. But it was Dawson Pendergrass running right up the middle like we saw him in most of the situation for pay dirt. Yeah. Kelly takes the handoff slowly and is ripped down by Steve Linton coming over from Texas Tech. Third and five. Baylor has had success on third downs. Can Richard Reese find more? He does! Bouncing his way inside the 40-yard line before Cayman Lang drags him down. Finn gonna hang on to it. Maybe decided too late. Looks like he did. Yeah. Ty Rawls with the stop. Finn with time. Eludes the pressure, throwing on his feet. Flag comes in late, and the pass looked like it might have been caught by Michael Trigg. I bet you they got pass interference. Pass interference, defense, number 11, 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Yep, and straight throw. You nailed it. It was Dante Stewart. Let's take a look here. Coverage was great. Finn is just trying to find somebody downfield. Now, you can say that he argumentatively was making a play on the ball, because that's anybody's ball when it's in the air. Oh, Finn man. slings it. Michael Trigg, wow. this time he says, I got it. And yes, I'm here. The transfer from Ole Miss making his presence felt. That was his second read. He finds his incredibly athletic and super gifted Michael Trigg. They're backed up to almost the 20-yard line. Finn, pump fake, pulls it. Now we'll throw it. Yep. Intercepted by Casayas Kearns. It'll be close. Looks like a turnover. Finn has done a tremendous job of being smart. Ruling on the field the is the interception. He had a touchback. flat, but that wasn't enough. 
Richard was out there all by himself. He wanted to scan the field, rolled to his right a little bit, thought he had open receiver to closer toward the end zone, wanting to score. I get that. Losing, being a little impatient, threw it into double coverage. But it does look like the receiver was out of bounds. Let's take another Let's look. Take look at that. that was a ball one foot. Oh, it's in. That's that's a pick. And that's Casayas Kearns had a scoop and score uh, last week. Also forced a fumble and recovered it. Daniel Greek does here. Unloading it down the field up and grabbing it. Big time play by Darius Cooper. Flag is down as well. Yeah, they might get LeVar Thornton with a pass interference here. The ball was in the air. Of course, it's anybody's ball, but yep. Craven Barrett has been busy of late. Yes, he has. But what do we talk about? The Texans taking shots deep. And they got to come back with situations like that. Pass interference. Defense. Number 25. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. When the ball's in the air like that, you've got to show yourself to be making a play on the ball. If not, guess what? You're playing the man in this illegal coverage. And as you look, well, he actually had his eyes turned back around, but you can see he could, he didn't necessarily locate the football, knew it was in the air somewhere close because of the receiver trying to adjust to make the catch, and he just threw his hands up and caused the illegal contact. First and 10 from the 35. Greek again. Dialing up number six, Cooper. Did he come down with it? Looks like he did. Yeah. Coach Witten says if there's a better wide receiver on the FCS level, I haven't met him yet. Reason why? You just saw it. In double coverage. So on the left side of your screen, you see Daniel Greek, and on the right side, you see Darius Cooper. They just hooked up for the biggest game of the afternoon for Tarleton. There's another look, Brad. Yeah, absolutely. The Senior Bowl watch list preseason All-American coming down with big plays just when Charlton needs it. That's the signals. Crowd getting louder. Time to throw. Time running out. On the move into the end zone. Almost taken away. Lorando Johnson was on the scene. 24-yard field goal attempt coming up. Michael Janes will give it a shot. Line drive. Wow. No chance. There's no worse feeling. You make all these big plays. You get yourself down well in the red zone, well in scoring position, and you can't even put it through the uprights. Your thoughts on the first half, Brad Hopkins? It's to be expected. And the expectation is that Baylor will keep it going. They are up 28 to nothing at half. Thanks in part to Daquan Finn, Dawson Prendergrass, and the gang. Kayvon Britton scampers to a first down, reverses his field. Todd Witten calls him a home run hitter. Let's call that a triple. These are the kind of plays, Pete, that will spark an offense. If you take a look at how patient Kayvon has been all night, shed some tacklers, cuts back, finds a lane, and guess what? It's a foot race. Hey. Splits the uprights, 28 to three. The Texans are on the board. Daquan Finn, plenty of time. Of time. Good night. Making a sandwich, heaves it to his right. Pass is complete. Monterey Baldwin, his first catch of the night, and he is tattooed by Smith, but not before making the catch. It certainly won't make the Oscars. Daquan look here, look here, look here, look here. pedaling into the end zone. Michael Trigg has his first touchdown as a Baylor Bear. Coach Urena said he's one of the most athletic guys in our program. Showing up the sure hands there, 17 yards. Yeah, Michael Trigg could be a big part yeah, of man. things for Jake Spavadol and Baylor. It's in eight seconds. The culmination right here, Brad. Yeah, take a look at here. I mean, your big tight end running what looks like a Nice little post route for six. Let's see what Todd Witten dials up. Last year, Tarleton 47%, excuse me, 57% on fourth down. Play fake, rolling right. Greek mm. extending for the football is Omayabu through his hands. Turnover on downs. 35 to three. Daquan Finn 
trying to put the nail in the coffin and climbing the ladder to make the grab. Officials will say, yes, he did. The freshman, Jaden Porter. The pole in the Big 12, playing at Utah next week. Down the middle. That's a pick. Intercepted, was intended for Jamal Bell, taken away by Ty Rawls. Another ball underthrown. Yeah, there looks that like was there was a little bit of work to do, yeah, yeah. as you mentioned. I mean, just putting a little more on it. I mean, it's not like he's – I get it. These are some fast skill position guys you got on the outside, but let's take a look here. The receivers are constantly having to slow themselves up, whether it's double coverage or what, to try and make a play, acrobatic or not. Had that ball been out in front of him, guess what? Both of these defenders are out of position. That's a touchdown, and we're not looking at – what's the score now? 35, 42 to – 42 to three. three. Yeah. Got a creeper. Mm. Fooled no one. Jackie Marshall says hello. And goodbye, all in the same instance. <laughs> he obviously wants to freeze defense a little bit with that run action, but that just kind of slowed down the tempo of the play, right? Put it in his belly, make a decision to keep it, and guess what? Jackie saw the entire situation unfolding right in front of him and didn't get fooled not one bit. Talk about a diagnosis, yeah. like a surgeon. First and 10 coming up for Finn. To Richard Reese, who was thrown yeah. down behind the line of scrimmage by Cayman Lane. He'll be a big playmaker for them all year. Here's Richard oh, here Reese saying, hey, I'd like to make some big plays. Inside the 10-yard line, Dante Stewart throws him out of bounds. Baylor in the red zone again. Finn into the end zone. Oh, goodness. Almost intercepted again. Kearns comes over to take it out of the air closely. See, that was an example right there of Finn knowing where he was going with the football, and regardless of the coverage, he was going to do it anyway. Let's take a look. It's not double coverage, but the way it pans out, you put two defenders in the area. Dustin Prendergrass, play fake to him. Finn, happy feet through the back of the end zone. That's a miss to a wide open guy. I'm not, I know it sounds like I'm picking, but I'm not. He's scanning the field, trying to find who's, who's open in the zone, right? He had a guy right in the back of the end zone. And if we take a look at it here, right here, he's, he's scanning, he sees him, he sidearms it. And the sidearm basically threw it behind where the defender was going. You see how he's trying to find the guy. He sees him open there, but uh, they're not on the same page. Josh Cameron's going to his right. He throws to his left. That was an obvious touchdown. Greek shouts the signals. He's throwing it. Oh, man. Terrible guess. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, though. Baylor defense had some answers there. Yeah. Corey Gordon all over it. Baylor back to work in the red zone. Oh, he took his eye off the ball. Slipped through the hands yep. of Daquan Finn. Falls on it. The spring that they had, even though the spring game itself was affected, they still had the reps necessary. Oh, look at here. I like that. 39-yard attempt coming up for the Bears. Hankins. Nice. Bangs it through. 38-3, Baylor. Kelly. Oh, wow. Nice shot. Good is boy. drilled. Man. Caleb that? Parker laying the wood. <laughs> Timber. <laughs> That's Paul Bunyan right there coming in with it. They're running a little game up front. Backers are filling. It did create a lane. Robertson with time. Drifts mm -hmm. right. The Throws wheel. it and finds a Klopfenstein. Threading the needle in McLean Stadium and didn't give their fans much to cheer about. Robertson finding Monterey Baldwin. Baldwin stays on his feet. Dancing inside and thrown down to the turf. Continuing to move forward. Yeah, but Eddie didn't have traps like uh, Dawson <laughs> Pendergrass. <laughs> Look at here. Woo! Look at here is right. Jackson taking in the touchdown. Sawyer Robertson is on the board. Another another cha-cha. 30 yards this time. Reason to dance for Baylor. Self. So give them big bodies up front a lot of credit. They picked up the stunt. He knew where he was going with the ball immediately. And guess what? Jackson ran a terrific route got past the coverage, and made an even better catch. In stride, first six. Nice ball, by the way, look at that. 
That's called dropping dimes, y'all. Jackson, first touchdown of the season, had one last year, has equaled that tonight. And the football game tonight, won convincingly by Baylor, 45 to three. 